Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Airport CEO and welcome back to Belfast City Airport. Things are going pretty well at the moment. We're not necessarily making money. We're still not making money, but we have unlocked a few things. Between this episode and the last one, I decided to let the game run for about 20 minutes just so we could unlock the things that we were talking about in that last episode. So now we have Jet A1 fuel. We're about to get night flights. We got the medium aircraft permit. We managed to get the whatever the medium air traffic control tower as well so we can have more flights in here which means we have some building to do so if we go to aircraft infrastructure we want to get ourselves a nice medium air traffic control tower and it fits really nicely in this spot right here and what that guy's gonna do is let us have up to 75 flights all day every day basically that's that's the goal for this guy and then obviously night flights is really going to lean into that. It's going to let us have night flights. It says, you know, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's going to let us have planes landing throughout the night, which is going to be fantastic as well. Now I did, I did make a slight change to my auto planner. It's been extended to have a 40 minute window of separation between two scheduled flights because I was noticing that there's kind of a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of overlap with these aircraft stands. I don't love the overlap that's going on here. It is causing some delays. So I'm hoping that eventually we're going to see these get shifted around a little bit. It doesn't really look like that's what's going on. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they figure it out. I'm wondering if that's a side effect of the fact that the aircraft, that the, the executives that I hired are not very good. It almost makes me wonder if that's what's going on. And if that is what's going on, that's actually kind of hilarious it's it's a lesson learned is what it is it is it is admittedly kind of hilarious though if that's if that's kind of what's going on there i hope it's not but it very much could be very much could be the uh the reality of what's going on there now we still need to build a medium check-in desk that is currently the the goal that we have we also did just get night flights so we should see we should see some uh, some planes getting scheduled a little bit more. 37 to 75, that's not bad at all. That's gonna be some good money, is what that's gonna be. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Let's go ahead though and build this medium check-in desk. That's the current goal, so let's see what we got. We've got check-in, we've got medium, and I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit large, is what it is. It's uh, it's definitely a bit of a larger, larger desk, uh, but what we'll do is put one there, and we'll put one there. And I guess we'll go and we need to unlock any adjacent land by clicking on a padlock. Interesting. Well, that's good because I do need to get another runway. I just, I feel like it's going to have to be any land to either side here. It's not going to be this one. And we're basically going to end up building like another terminal. I'm going to get this one. $750,000 is a lot of money, but we kind of need it. We've also unlocked medium aircraft. We need the medium runway next, which we can do shortly. I do want to focus up in here just a little bit to make this sort of match everything else that I have going on. So something a bit like this should be fine. We'll do sort of the same thing over here as well, down to about there. And I guess we'll go ahead and get some uh, get some plants here too. So we'll grab this guy. It's a bit of a different looking one, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and put it right there. And then this is just going to have a queue that goes back and forth like this. It's going to be a pretty chunky queue for this pretty chunky check-in desk so it goes like so and then this one needs to go and do exactly the same thing that's a baggage bay we want to go this way and just sort of snake it back and forth it's going to be relatively useless for the time being because we don't have that many people you know coming and going through the airport but it'll be fine it'll it'll be all right let's also just go ahead and build that little section of wall right there little section of wall right there a little bit of a door right about there and there and we'll go ahead and assign that to be a staff zone as well. So no passengers are going to be going back there, which is exactly what we want. There we go. So that's all assigned. We can go ahead and paint this up in the nice uh, blue color as well. And that's not bad. That's that's honestly not bad. It's a nice little expansion of the, uh, the check-in space. We can also go and get some new floors in here. I think it's this one that I'm using. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and do this as well. I think that works out. I think that'll be okay. We've actually got some people wanting to use this desk as well, which is fantastic news. They aren't going to be dropping off any of their baggage because we don't do that right now, but uh, not bad. 
We're also having a lot of complaints about flights not being able to get out of here. So we really, we really probably do want to do something about the, uh, I don't know, about the fact that we, we probably need another runway is, is kind of what I'm getting at. So let's take a look here. Aircraft infrastructure, runway, medium. Can I get a medium runway here? No, I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to build it down here. Oh no. How is that going to work? <laughs> How is that going to work? I I actually don't know how this is going to work. I genuinely have no idea. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be terrible. That is an awful place for a, run, a runway. I could buy this chunk of land. I could buy that chunk of land. I do have the money for it. I just don't know that that's a good idea either. Oh dear, what have I done? All right, we have Jet A1 Fuel. Let's, what do I need for franchise shops? I need a strategy director. Okay, let me hire a strategy director so that I can get some shops in here. So we'll go for you. You're not very good, but you'll you'll do the job. And we'll train you up a little bit. We'll go back to operations and we'll start looking at franchise shops, I guess. And we'll start looking at franchise cafes as well. So that way we can get these things in here and start making money off of those potentially. So we'll get those going. And then I guess while we're waiting, we want to look into aircraft infrastructure again and we want to start getting jet A1 fuel. So I guess let's put it over here is, is where this can go. So it can live right about there. We're probably going to need some trucks for it as well. So let's go to purchase vehicles. And yeah, we're going to be wanting the Fjord fuel truck for jet A1. Let's grab... I'm thinking two of them should be fine. I'm kind of thinking let's 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 go for three because I might increase the number of uh, aircraft stands that we have for commercial flights. Although looking at this until we get another runway, that might be a terrible idea. But regardless, we'll we'll give it a shot. And we'll see what happens. Now, when are these guys going to be here? In about two minutes time. They're here already. So let's look at the vehicles we have. Jet A1 fuel. Honestly. I'm kind of thinking that, uh, let's see. Should I just go for that, like, blue? Might be the way to do it. Might be the way to do it. I don't, I don't hate that. I, I actually, I actually don't, I don't hate that. So it's not, not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll go and do sort of the same thing to, uh, to all of these guys. We'll just paint them up in that nice blue color. And so they should, once we get Jet A1 fuel in here, which I think we're able to do, right? I think we should have a truck on the way, unless I need to go to contracts. I might need to sign a separate contract for this. So let's have a look. Filter by fuel suppliers. We have some choices. I'm pretty sure we do have one already providing it, but we'll sign a second contract. Oh, I have to cancel the first one. Okay. So accepted contracts. Get rid of you. Cancel the contract. I might get a fine for it, but it's whatever. And let's go for... 112, 103. Let's go for the 103. And now we should have fuel suppliers coming and going. So this tank is full, which is great news. So my trucks are on the way to refuel, which means I should now be able to go to operations and allow Jet A1 fuel services, which is good. So that's that's basically a way that we can provide, you know, all these planes with some fuel and also make some more money like we're seeing right there. So that's good. That's more money for the airport. It's a better service for the planes. It's going to keep the airlines a bit happier. So overall, that's also progress, which is good. My only concern is, as I've said, we we need another runway and I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really, I really, really don't know how I'm going to do it. I really, really don't know where I'm going to put a runway here. Um, We might... Hmm. God, what is the way to do this? <laughs> what is what is the way to do this? That's uh that feels like a loaded question. Is what that feels like. That feels like a loaded question. Can I? So I can I can build roads, right? I can build roads. I can build that's the world entrance tunnel. We got public roads here. I feel like I might need to get tunnels. Is what I'm feeling. And then take this road underneath a runway. That's that's almost what I'm thinking I might need to do here, which is wild. That's that's kind of wild, but I might need to do it. So let's have a look at R&D real quick. 
Uh, I can't really do anything with these right now, so maybe that's not something we're going to be doing. But I'm almost thinking that's what we could do. I might then have to move the emergency stuff as well as, well, that guy might be fine there, but basically my thinking would be to bring the taxiways down, connect it to the runway, and then have the planes sort of circle around that way. So th this runway would be, I guess, sort of facing, yeah, facing the same direction. Planes would land from left to right. They would go up, cut across, come down, leave. That might be a bit much. That might be a bit much, but it, it's, it's kind of what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do here. I don't love that that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do here, but it's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do here. And so I suppose it's a good thing that we do now have shops and cafes because I would like to see if I can do, I guess, floor construction. I don't know if floor construction is exactly what I'm looking for. Subways would be nice as well. So we'll start researching subways because that's that's going to be beneficial to everybody. But what I'm specifically looking for is tunnels. So structural engineering, is that what I'm looking for? No, that is not what I'm looking for. I really don't know what I'm looking for. Automation? Is that new? No, that's just like self-checking and stuff like that. Okay. Am I... I might be losing it. I might be losing it. Are tunnels already a thing and I'm just an idiot? So we have... We have this. World entrance tunnel right there. Public road. Service road. One-way road. Vehicle checkpoints. Tunnels don't seem like they're a thing already. That's... That's all... All I'm saying is tunnels don't seem like they're a thing already. Unless I am being an idiot. And it is distinctly possible that is the case. That is, that is a, it's a non-zero chance that I'm being a bit of an idiot here. So, belt loaders, not what I'm looking for. Let me see here. Structural engineering, concrete runway, concrete roads. It might be that. Proactive maintenance. Proactive maintenance is probably not a bad idea either, to be quite honest, but... Let's go for structural engineering and see if that's maybe what I'm looking for. I've honestly got no idea, so we'll just we'll just throw some administrators at it and see what happens. And I guess let me let me test something. Can I go under here? So I can't. Yeah, I need floor construction permit to build on that floor. So I think I I maybe get the tunnels when I get the floor construction permit. That's that's what I'm thinking, which means I might cancel this for for now. And it's floor construction permit if I remember right. So we're looking for you instead. So we'll start that up. It's going to take about 12 hours, but that's honestly okay. And that'll be fine. And that, I think, is how we're going to have to get this other this other runway. It's kind of wild. It's, it's yeah, that's that's kind of wild. I could, I could just build it over here, but I think, I think my little plan here is probably for the best. And then we'll deal with the medium-sized airport eventually. <laughs> There's no way. I mean, well, I say that, actually. I could just build the medium runway across here, which is probably fair enough. That's that's probably not a terrible idea. Just sort of build the medium runway down here and, and go to town with it and see how things play out. I could also run some roads around this thing. That's That's another option. I don't need the tunnels, but I kind of want them. So while we're waiting for everything to get done there, let's go ahead and place a couple of subways. Now, these guys are $100,000 each. They are very, very expensive. But I kind of feel like they're going to be kind of worth it because it's a better way for passengers to get into the airport. They don't have to take cars. They don't have to take buses. They don't have to take taxis. They can just kind of get a subway up to the airport. And hopefully that's going to be beneficial once we start bringing larger planes in here because we're already seeing... We're already seeing a really good number of people coming through here. And honestly, I really like this. I really like that the airport is already busy considering, I mean, I guess there could be 20 planes on the ground at any one time. So it's it's not unreasonable that the airport is is busy. It's just, it's kind of cool. It's it's kind of cool. That's all I got. It's, it's kind of cool looking. I'm really enjoying that. We're also getting pretty close to being done with the floor construction permit. I've also thrown proactive maintenance in there so that we can... Uh, start to, you know, fix things up before they break, because I figure that's probably a pretty good idea. And looking at it, we have a subway there. We have one about to be built over here as well. I've got no... Oh my god, people are already using it. Not bad. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool, man. That's that's actually really cool. we got people using the subways already. We're hopefully going to have... I mean, these guys are all looking like they're leaving, and they're going through the subway. All right. 
That should reduce traffic at the airport. That's exactly what I wanted those, those things to do. And so now the floor construction permit is done. The proactive maintenance is done as well. That's some good stuff across the board. Let's start looking at program group two, just so we can get some extra perks in here. We'll get people working on that over time. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to go to infrastructure and transportation. I want to get some road tunnels and basically we're, we're going to go down is what we're going to do. So I need to bulldoze some roads. This is potentially, oh, can't bulldoze the only remaining. So that's that entire thing's the tunnel. Interesting. Right. So all of this needs to go away or all of this needs to go away. That's a terrible idea. It, it is going to cause some problems, but I'm I'm willing to try this. I'm <laughs> I'm willing to try this. This is a terrible, terrible idea, but I'm willing to try it. So road tunnel down. I don't know. I think it goes that way, I'm pretty sure. And then I guess that way. So this is where our runway is going to go, which is an interesting choice. This is um this is an interesting, interesting way <laughs> to uh, to run things, is what I'm thinking. So hopefully we can get that all built. I realize that because there is no, uh, <laughs> because there's no way for construction material to get to the airport, this might have been a terrible idea. <laughs> this this might have backfired. Is uh, is what I'm thinking here. <laughs> hold hold on a second. I may have colossally screwed up. <laughs> I might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, public roads can't be grass either. Oh dear. What have I done? <laughs> uh, I might have to load an auto save. I might have to load an auto save. Let me get rid of some of these fences for a second. And wouldn't you know, that is exactly what I had to do. I had to reload the save because I ever so slightly screwed this up. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go road tunnel down. And we're going to get a road tunnel, I'm going to say, right about there. I'm going to get a road tunnel right about there. And then what I need to do is I need to bring some roads over here. So we'll go for this guy, something like this. We'll bring it over to about that spot. We'll bring this guy over to about that spot. We'll go to tunnels again, road tunnel down here and road tunnel down here. We can connect these guys together underground and connect them over on this side as well. And so now what we should have done is created a means through which we can get a runway through the middle once this road here is gone. That's that's the idea. This will give us a nice little loop around. It gives us space in the middle for a runway. It gives me everything I need. And it also maintains the connection to the world itself, which is probably for the best. I'm also debating whether or not this should be a one way system. I'm kind of feeling like it should be. I'm kind of feeling like some some one way roads here might be sort of the way to go. I'm I'm not not a hundred percent sure if this is a great idea, but it's it's what we're gonna it's what we're gonna try is uh, is what it is. So a bunch of one way roads like this, we can go ahead and do one way roads here. Apparently I can't do that. Okay, well that's fair enough. We'll do we'll do that sort of thing. We'll go underground though. We'll say one way roads here and here and then the same thing in this direction as well and we'll see what that does we'll see if that functions the way i want it to function because if it does that'd be kind of fantastic and if they could build these roads that would also be kind of fantastic that way we can have you know like i said this beautiful one-way system going on i'm also like i said gonna have to move these guys i don't look forward to doing that but we'll figure that out i'm not a hundred percent sure where they're gonna go yet probably in here to be quite honest although that is very close to where the runway is going to be so that might not be the best idea these guys are also taking forever to to build these sections of road there we go there we go that's what i'm looking for so get that all connected that'll let traffic sort of flow through and do its thing and so once that last bit's done which it looks like it's about to be it is now done and once those last bits there are done we can in theory Go ahead and bulldoze this, which is good. That's that's exactly what we want. We have traffic now going around, doing its thing, and we're going to have this space in the middle for a runway. Okay. So with that in mind, 
how the hell am I going to get these buildings somewhere else? Let me have a little bit of a look at them. So we're looking at security. We're looking at you. It's a bit huge. It might honestly have to go down here. That's that's a there's a distinct chance that that's what we're going to have to do here is bring this thing sort of right down here. And I can't for the life of me remember if I can have, I guess, service roads cross a runway. I absolutely cannot. I don't know how this is going to function, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. So let's go to air, aircraft infrastructure, medium runway, $375,000. It's basically going to go in here. And I need the plane to be landing that way. So I need it to be in line with the existing one. And I need it to be right there. So that's that's a thing. That's that's a thing that we're committing to. And then I guess what we do is we want to go and get the runway ramps. I'm debating whether or not I do the angled ones, to be honest. I think the angled ones might be might be a bit better. Probably, probably not for getting off the runway, admittedly, but I'm I'm kind of thinking the uh, I'm kind of thinking the angled ones might be well we'll just do the normal ones I guess for the time being but the angled ones would look cool that's that's all I'm saying is they would look they would look kind of cool so we've got the basics going on here and this is actually looking like it's going to be much easier to deal with than I thought it was going to be because all I really need to do is put the police station here and the emergency response station there and yes they're kind of expensive and yes they take up a lot of space and yes this is a lot of space that's open here. But now with that done, once those are built, I can get rid of the existing ones, connect this taxiway straight up there. In fact, this might actually be in the way. So the jet A1 fuel thing is also going to need to move, unfortunately. But that's hopefully not that expensive. Yeah, it's $8,000. So this guy can live right about there. We'll get that built. We can probably just go ahead and say bulldoze all of these existing structures. We run the taxiway straight up, we connect it all together, and we're going to have a second runway, and it's a larger runway as well. Now, admittedly, it is going to be important to remember that to get medium aircraft in here, we're going to need medium aircraft stands, which we don't have. And honestly, we don't really have the room for. I'm, I'm building myself into a bit of a corner right now, because I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get medium aircraft stands in here. Because it's important to remember... They are a bit larger than the existing ones. Just, just actually, 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 hold on a minute. They will fit. They will just about fit. That vintage stand will just about fit in there. I'm only going to get maybe four or five of them, but I can 100% get rid of these guys. If I go and research remote stand service, I can then keep these guys as small commercial stands with five medium ones here. Mwah. That's going to be good. That is going to be good. That is going to be fantastic. Okay. I'm, I'm suddenly kind of excited about this. That's going to be kind of interesting to see. Uh, let's go ahead and extend you up to here. Let's go ahead and extend this, uh, this taxiway down to here. And let's say this runway is going to be for small, medium. Uh, we'll, we'll allow general aviation on here, I think. And we'll open the runway as well. So now we should be able to function a little bit better we shouldn't have to worry as much about planes overlapping. I mean, they're still going to overlap, but a little bit less so than they uh, than they were previously, which is exactly what I'm looking for. That's perfect. This is also such a weird way <laughs> to, uh, to have people get into an airport. It's kind of wild, but I kind of like it. What are you doing? Oh, I guess you're going to taxi down there and then take off because the this doesn't exist yet. That makes sense i guess and so just like that we have a functional two runway airport more or less it's more or less functional some of the planes are being a bit weird they were backing up on each other but it seems like a couple of changes to make a couple of things a little bit more one way has helped with that so we don't seem to be having any well i was about to say we don't have any delays but there we go we do in fact have a delay we have a couple of them but i think we're doing okay I think we're going to have a couple of delays here and there because we did have some weird stuff going on with the planes and they didn't take off as quick as they should, but we're getting there. This is this is decent progress. Now, we do need to build medium stands. That is our current objective within the tutorial, within the game right now. And that is something that I want to do. We're just going to have to get remote stand services first. So we need to go in here. 
we need to go and have a look at this kind of stuff here. We could reduce project time, for example. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, might not be a bad idea at all, actually. How many people can I put? How many people can I put on these things? Because if I if I increase this, we can get. Ooh, we can do a lot of good stuff here. Marketing, for example, is more spending. I don't hate the idea of that. But what I think we want is remote stand services so I can have those stands at the top end of the airport be operated by buses. And then I'm going to say reduce project time. Let's put like four guys on that. Let's go and just hire more administrators. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll go back to operations. We'll put like five guys on this. We can go and start looking at project group three, perhaps start researching three things at once. That's maybe the way we want to go. So we'll do that kind of thing. And so these guys should go a little bit quicker because of the fact that quite simply we are going to be reducing the, I guess, or yeah, increasing the speed at which we research things is basically what we're doing. So that'll be good. That's that's what we're looking for. That's what we want to do. We've got the airport running really nicely. We have so many flights coming and going. And I would almost be willing to say we can bring the auto planner down to like 25 minutes. I think 25 minutes will squeeze an extra couple of flights in here every day. We have the two runways now, so I think we can get away with it. Oh, this is cool. It's it's really cool. You know what I'm also going to do just before we wrap things up for today? I want to swap out the taxiways. It's, oh, it's so expensive, though. You know what? <laughs> I don't know that I do want to swap out the taxiways. They are a little bit... Uh, they're a little bit expensive to do that. We only have $450,000, so... Let's not get too crazy. Let's leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.